Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. Most of you know me. This is a video on long COVID, chronic COVID. This is one of the more important videos I've ever done. It would serve you really well to sit through this um, video and learn about what's going to happen. The next 10 months, like 6 to 10 months, you're going to get a lot of information across the news waves about research done on what's called long COVID, chronic COVID syndrome, or COVID enteropathy, COVID neuropathy, etc., etc., a number of disease conditions from lasting COVID inflammation infection secondary to COVID infection. In 19 or in 2020, in, in July 4th, 2020, I got the COVID from my daughter. She brought it from New York and I got severely ill. I was ill for eight weeks and I almost died. I've got, I, I basically su uh, survived the COVID about as, as aggressively as anyone can. And I was lucky to make it and that's fine, but I was incredibly sick for eight weeks. Just about every part of my body was involved. The problem with COVID is it'll attack virtually any tissue that's inflamed. And that inflamed tissue, and we all have inflamed tissue if we're over five years of age, basically in our joints, in our muscularity, and in our neurological systems, in our spine, our spinal cord, et cetera, et cetera, will actually incur this virus. The virus is into the, gets into the cell, takes up residence in the, in the messenger RNA and the RNA of the actual cell in the cytoplasm and lives there and recurs and can come back out giving us positive COVID tests and then negative COVID tests and positive COVID tests and negative COVID tests, making COVID testing kind of worthless, quite frankly. Some people will get it, not very many people will get the long form version of this and the neurological form of this particular disease condition. Now this is not um, a harbinger of, of doom and gloom because not a lot of people will get this uh, long COVID disease, but you will find that there will be a number of people that will get low-grade versions of this and even severe versions of this. My condition is neuroparalytic. It looks like MS. It progresses like MS. The neurological aspects of this particular virus is it attacks the nerve systems of the spinal cord and also of the peripheral nerves, making numb, tingling, etc., etc. There are a whole lot of syndromes that can be seen here. You can look up long COVID etc. and read the various um, symptoms you can have. You can have brain fog, duh, lethargy, sleep disorders, I can't sleep at all, I can't sleep for more than 15 minutes, uh, inability to concentrate of course, cognitive dysfunctions, loss of smell and taste which a lot of people are experiencing. When you lose the gustatory and olfactory abilities, those target cells essentially seem to be trophic for the, for the COVID virus for some particular reason. Now keep in mind that the COVID virus is a manufactured virus, okay? It was manufactured in the Wuhan lab and it was basically made to be more and more pathogenic. It was originally in bats, it was taken out of bats and it was exposed after it was manipulated, various rays, electromagnetic radiation, and also chemistry to mutate billions of mutations putting into what's called humanized mice, when mice that, has, that have receptor sites on their cells like humans do to see whether or not it could be created a nasty disease condition. And so what they did was they were able to create a monster and they did. The, uh, my first degree is in epidemiology, immunology, genetics. I also taught genetics essentially and, we all, and also I had bacteriology and public health and epidemiology essentially along with virology and as I mentioned immunology. I made a living out of vaccinating mammals for 40 years, I've vaccinated more creatures you could shake a stick at. And I'm not pro-vaccine, but I'm not negative for this type of vaccine, particularly the mRNA vaccine. So we'll talk about that in a minute. But the fact of the matter is these are trophic for human cells. So the, the virus that was grown in mice, humanized mice, became trophic for the human being. In nature, we do not see the sequence CCC, cytosine, 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 as a, as a code in the DNA code anywhere in nature. However, it's seen in this virus. And because it's seen in this virus, the only way it can get into this virus is if it was put there. And it was put there by researchers at the Wuhan lab. So that being said, um, you can basically argue with me that that's not the situation, but pretty much virtually anybody who knows anything about genetics knows that this is a manufactured, um, essentially, virus. Now that's not what, what the purpose of this particular uh, video is about. The purpose of this video is to explain to you that there will be lots and lots and lots of people who got the virus, whether they had vaccine or not, that got the virus and will experience long COVID or chronic COVID syndromes. And there's a lot of them. There's skin problems. There's neurological problems, which I've mentioned. There's olfactory problems that comes and goes, for instance. If you've lost your sense of smell or taste, essentially, even for a short period of time, you have an inflammation enough in your system to actually have this long COVID, and you should be aware of it essentially and also that lots and lots of chronic conditions 
like a injured ankle or knee or back or hip, for instance, will start to ache off and on or continue to ache like it's a problem. This doesn't occur necessarily after you get the COVID virus and get over it, but over a period of time, long or chronic COVID syndrome. And so this becomes kind of important. Now, we don't give you something, we don't give you disaster unless we give you actually a way for us to handle this. And so what we have is we have the ability to address these particular conditions, either in a short term or long term. And what we'll do for them is we'll basically use the Avant laser as a means to actually heat treat these particular or address these particular syndromes. For instance, my condition in neurological in my spinal cord will be, I'll be directing it with the uh, degenerative myelopathy protocol. But before I use that essentially to rehabilitate neurological tissue in my spinal cord, I will treat this um, uh, initially with uh, pneumovirus protocol. The pneumovirus is the protocol that we have in this device. Is, is, pathogen, is, is specific for the COVID and also other respiratory viruses. And it's kind of like a shotgun for all respiratory viruses. And it engages the body's T and B cell to actually go search out the system and attack respiratory type of virus. Now keep in mind that this virus is throughout the body. It's not only just in the respiratory system, but it's throughout the body. And so it basically hunts and kills. The T cells that are hunter cells and killer cells will actually go after those particular uh, uh, pneumoviruses because they have a signature that we actually have a frequency for and that's fine. We will also use the immune non-responsive protocol for another 60 seconds. The first one we use for 60 seconds, the second one we use for 60 seconds. And essentially what we're doing is we're actually scanning the whole body like this. 60 seconds, it'll turn off, then you put in immune non-responsive for 60 seconds and then in my case the last one I will use is degenerative myelopathy which just happens to be a frequency set that rehabilitates neurological function and this is how we go about using that particular approach now if you had a problem for olfactory or lack of taste you'd use uh, the tasting, the lack of taste protocol uh, lack of hearing I lost my right eye or my right ear essentially I could use that protocol too and also I lost my right eye essentially my right eye went out so I could use retinal rehabilitation frequencies but we never shine it straight into the eye we always shine it to the side of the eye if we're going to do that otherwise we can end up injuring the retina we don't want to do that so there's lots of different approaches that we can use but we always use we always use the pneumovirus protocol for 60 seconds followed by the immune non-responsive protocol for 60 seconds and then we also use the other frequencies specific for that which we're trying to address. Now we don't kill the virus, the body kills the virus. We don't cure the disease process. The body basically rehabilitates itself as best it can. That's the good news. The response can be quick, like within three or four days. That's the good news. The bad news is, more so often than not, it takes a long period of time to take care of this. For instance, it, would, it took me about a week before I started to get benefit from this approach. It can take 13 weeks before you're completely free of this and it can come back to visit every six months or so and you'll have to go back and laser it in that regard. It is imperative that if any of you or your family have gotten the, the COVID virus, they should go through a series of 13 laserings using the protocols that I've mentioned. Essentially, twice a day for two days, once a day for, th I'm sorry, twice a day for three days, once a day for three days, and another twice a week for two more weeks. That's 13 laserings at least. And then basically, whether they're symptomologic or not, if they've gotten the virus, they got a snow cold or sniffles or got really, really sick or partially sick or lost weight or whatever, then what needs to happen is these, these people need to go through a series of laserings with this. Now, you're saying to yourself, well, you're just trying to sell me a laser. No, I'm not. These laser, I'm sorry, this email is going out to people who have this laser. If you're not using this laser, on people that have gotten the COVID virus, and I'm talking about people who've been vaccinated, I'm talking about people who've gotten the COVID virus, then you're making a big mistake. You really honestly need to use this device uh, on anyone who has gotten the COVID virus. Now that we have the uh, Omicron uh, uh, variant, essentially, it looks like just about everyone is going to get the COVID virus. The good news is it might not be so severe that we'll have what we call long COVID, but the original virus product uh, that came from through Italy and also through Seattle are nasty enough to produce long COVID syndrome and this is what this is all about. For those of you who don't have the laser, the only way you can get these protocols is to contact me and we can get a laser to you. Um, I'm not in the laser selling business but I'm in the application of this technology business. Unfortunately we have to have a device to do that and this works really, really well. For me, unfortunately, I have to laser myself almost twice a week to stay relatively normal. Otherwise, I have a hard time walking. So I've got it really bad, and it may, if it continues, 
uh, looks like we're able to stop it and reverse it to some degree, but it was pretty scary. It looked like I was going to end up in a wheelchair. So this is a real thing. It's a big deal. If, it's, if I sound like I'm serious, dead serious, I'm as serious as a fucking heart attack. Excuse the French. Because these chronic and long, vers uh, and long acting or long COVID, chronic COVID syndromes basically are going to plague us for the next two decades at least. At least. And there currently is no therapy for this particular type of phenomenon, essentially. And so hopefully the new uh, medicines that are out there might be beneficial. And I'd mention to you that I'm not, a, I'm not necessarily a vaccine kind of guy, but it's, it's been suggested that these long COVID conditions may be treated with vaccination. And so um, which vaccine you're going to say, the uh, modified live vaccine, which is J&J, &J, or the um, Pfizer vaccine, or the uh, other, other vaccine, which is the mRNA vaccine, they may be beneficial. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not your medical practitioner. What I'm trying to do is to show you how it is that we can ameliorate clinical symptomologies of long COVID, essentially, and hopefully we can get ahead of it. We can actually get uh, free of that. And not all of you are going to get this condition, but enough of you are going to get long COVID, essentially. That'll be pesky medical conditions that'll get worse and worse down the road until all of a sudden you'll say, God, I guess I've got that. And so you're going to have to address it. When you have this particular device, you should be able to do so and, and get uh, a significant amount of relief, if not uh, allow the body to get ahead of it and basically solve the problem. Again, I'm not suggesting that this is a cure, but it looks pretty close to something that, that might, in fact, help us get the body to do what it's supposed to do. This does not kill the virus. The body, is, the body actually kills the virus. The low-grade um, vir uh, viremia that might be occurring that's, that's subclinical, essentially is eliminated by the T and B cells, particularly the T cells and the killer T cells essentially in your body that we engage with this device at specific frequencies. If you have any more questions about this particular condition, you need to contact me, area code 208-640-3430, and I can give you more information about how we might address this. Each and every person's condition with long COVID is different, and there may be a completely different set of protocols that we can use with this instrument to help ameliorate clinical symptomology. Sorry for the bad news, folks, but um, this is a big deal, and you're going to hear more and more about it as time goes on. Uh, COVID is here to stay, unfortunately, and keep in mind that this was a manufactured virus. This is not a naturally occurring virus that basically comes out of nature. It is manufactured, and because it is, our body is not set up necessarily to handle it without some help. So, again, if you have any questions, contact me uh, via email or just contact me via phone. I'm on Pacific time, so please don't call me in the middle of the night, and I'll be happy to chat with you and tell you what it is that we might be able to do to help you if you have chronic COVID, long COVID, chronic COVID syndrome. Thank you very much, and have a super day.